Eric Duplessis, The Branded Mind, What Neuroscience Really Tells Us About the Puzzle of the Brain and the Brand. Delve into the complex world of neuromarketing in Eric Duplessis' book, The Branded Mind, which sheds light on how our brains interpret advertisements and make purchase decisions. This summary will examine the ever-evolving science behind the brain, our decision-making processes, and the role emotions play in our actions. We'll consider the impact of neuromarketing on marketers' targeted advertising efforts, explore the influence of culture on human behavior, and discover potential future developments in the field. Neuromarketing and the Role of Emotions the book explores neuromarketing as a buzzword in advertising and how it is rooted in science's evolving understanding of the brain. It covers the promise of neuromarketing in molding marketing messages that affect people's mental and emotional states, leading to brand loyalty. However, the author cautions against grandiose claims based on inconclusive experiments and instead recommends focusing on how people make decisions. The book also discusses the changing perception of emotions in Western philosophy, psychology, and neuroscience. Traditional understanding posited rational thinking as superior and deemed emotions as an obstacle to it. However, recent studies show that emotions and rationality are inextricably linked. The book explores how bodily reactions linked to pivotal experiences, called somatic markers, can abet effective decision-making. Understanding the power of your brain. The human brain is a complex network of neurons that work together to help you survive and interact with the world. These neurons fire rapidly, creating vast gestalts that shape how you perceive and remember events. Each memory is charged with emotions that influence your behavior and motivations. Marketers use this knowledge to create ads that grab your attention and alter your behavior. The psychology of marketing. Marketers use repetition of ads or messages to trigger emotions and memories in viewers. Surprisingly, fast-forwarding through recorded TV shows causes people to subconsciously pay attention to commercials. Advertisers target live sports broadcasts and news programs, where fast-forwarding is unlikely. Once ads are recognized by viewers, they are moved to cheaper channels that may be fast-forwarded, and advertisers rely on reminder glimpses. Brain science has revolutionized marketing by revealing that people prioritize their emotions according to how they feel and perceive them. Marketers must get consumers to pay attention to their product and link it with a desired state of mind. People do things and buy things to control their arousal level, and marketers exploit this by associating brands with specific moods, such as, calm superiority, for Mercedes-Benz owners. The Power of Emotions Emotions are complex, but experts have constructed a feeling schema based on their nature, origin, and duration. They can be brief autonomic biological changes, self-reported emotions, moods that last for hours, or habitual emotions that shape our personality. Our culture also influences our emotional dispositions. Emotions engage our limbic system and play a crucial role in decision-making. When we experience a feeling, our body reacts instantly, and our brain signals us to pay attention. Emotions can respond to either external or internal triggers and create positive or negative associations. Advertisers must appeal to consumers' existing emotions to guide them towards a specific purchase. Our body seeks balance or homeostasis, and marketers must understand this to induce buying behavior. The Addictive Brain our brains release dopamine not only after an action but also when anticipating pleasure, creating an addictive cycle. This cycle can be triggered by advertising, which links brands to positive memories and experiences. Even window shopping can release dopamine, providing satisfaction without any action. Understanding the way our brains work can help us resist the temptation and make informed choices. Marketing and the Power of Personalities your personality traits impact your mood and marketers use this understanding to position brands accordingly. Empathy is crucial to establish a connection between individual personalities and society. 
Culture plays five dimensions that include power distance, individualism slash collectivism, ambiguity, short-term slash long-term focus and gender role emphasis, which influence subcultures differently. Marketers need to consider these factors while targeting various population groups, avoiding misdirected empathy or lack of research that may lead the initiatives to fail. The Subconscious Side of Advertising In his book, The Hidden Persuader, Vance Packard highlights the dangers of subliminal advertising techniques, leading to their ban in many countries. However, it's shown that his research was misrepresented and fabricated. Despite this, misconceptions continue to arise surrounding neuromarketing and its perceived control over consumer behavior. Modern science suggests that the brain works through a feedback system and that perception and decision-making often occur subconsciously. This highlights the importance of emotional appeals in advertising to generate a positive brand association and sustain decision-making shortcuts. The ultimate goal of any marketer is to capture attention and create a lasting brand soma, shaping consumer actions and generating brand loyalty. The Promise of Neuromarketing Neuromarketing, though offering exciting possibilities, has many exaggerated claims. However, with ongoing research, cheaper technologies, and more widespread practices, neuromarketing will play a larger role in advertising. Future research will delve into how personalities differ and what role culture plays in decision-making. Practitioners will develop more detailed databases, resulting in a better understanding of feelings and choice. Furthermore, advanced measuring procedures such as transcranial magnetic stimulation offer the possibility of identifying brain functions. As the field develops, more methodical applications and training methods will appear. Eric Duplessis, The Branded Mind, probes the fascinating intersection of neuroscience and marketing, offering a comprehensive examination of the human brain, emotions, and decision-making. While neuromarketing is still an emerging field, its potential impact on the advertising industry is evident. As the technology becomes more accessible and research advances, the field of neuromarketing will continue to evolve, providing invaluable insights into our cognitive processes, emotions, and behaviors. With this knowledge, marketers can craft more effective advertising that better resonates with their target audience.